uh, I mean, hopefully now it's sunk in enough that I handle it better here than I did there. But um, I, I, I'm not kidding, you know. Um, people don't need to know all this. Like, I, golf wasn't my my thing growing up. I didn't. I wasn't from a golf family, so I, I shot hoops in the driveway and played baseball against my little bounce back. Um, and I was always, you know, I imagined I was I was Omar Vizquel when I was playing baseball. He's the best shortstop ever, amazing. Um, and when I was Michael Jordan when I was playing basketball. And I was always like that game on the line, tie, tie game, last seconds, make this shot go, boom. And so then golf became my thing. And, you know, through high school and college, like playing on the PGA Tour was just a dream. It wasn't even a realistic goal. I was very mediocre college player at a very mediocre college. Um, uh, great college, mediocre golf program. Um, I... Uh, you know, whatever. So I was still that kid. I'd go out to practice, and every six-footer at the end of my practice session was to, you know, to win the tournament. And even at that point in my life, like, I imagined that moment when I would, you know, be married to the love of my life, and she'd come running out, and we'd have our family. Like, that's something that I wanted. Um, and, you know, to have that entire dream come to life and to, like, you know, I looked over and saw, um, I didn't see my family. I can't remember the exact order because my brain was spinning, but I don't think I saw him until after I'd hit the first putt, but I definitely saw him before I'd tapped in, and I was, I mean, I, I, I had lost it before I had hit my last shot of the tournament, for sure, but luckily it was, like, literally two inches from the hole. Um, but, yeah, that moment was pretty amazing. You know, I got asked a lot when I was, um, when I was a kid, you know, my, you know my, my uncle has tickets to the Masters, you want to come? My friend has tickets to the Masters, you want to come? And I always said, no, I don't want to go watch people play golf, that doesn't sound fun. Um, so I didn't go. And then, you know, as I became a uh, PGA Tour member and, you know, played on the PGA Tour, became a winner on the PGA Tour, I would occasionally meet, you know, the right person who said, hey, do you want to come play Augusta? And I was like, no. Like, I want to go play Augusta when I'm in the Masters. That's when I want to go play Augusta. So, um, you know, the fact that I, it's still an invitational. They can choose not to invite me, I suppose, but I think historically they're pretty consistent, and I think I'll get an invitation. Um, I'll probably accept that invitation and go play the Masters, which will be really, really, uh, uh, I mean, you know, the realization of another childhood dream, um, you know, to, yeah, I mean, I guess, I, yeah, it's cool. It hasn't sunk in yet at all, because, I mean, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm going to be there, and when, when is it? Three weeks, Three weeks Three or something? Weeks, yeah. Wow. Houston Royal Masters. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's great. I mean, but, you know, again, just to reiterate, like, that's amazing. I'm, th I'm going to be, I'm, I'm already thankful for that opportunity. I can't wait. Um, but I call, come back to this, and I mean it. You know, I remember, I remember playing on the then Nationwide, now Corn Ferry Tour in 2015. Every single event out there felt like a major to me. Every single event that I've played on the PGA Tour, ever. Like, I remember, you know, we affectionately refer to some of our events um, as, you know, the island tour. Some of our events that are uh, additional field events. Um, every single time I've played in, in Puerto Rico, uh, in Dominican, those feel, I, I've never teed it up in a tour event and not felt, wow, this is, like, I'm nervous, and this is important. Like, and 90% of us on tour are that way. So, like, you know, I'm going to go play next week in Houston. And, like, there may not be the history and the, the, the story. And, you know, I may feel something special when I get on the grounds at Augusta, and I hope I do. But I'm going to feel just as amped up on the first tee next week in Houston because this playing golf on the PGA Tour for 90% of us out here is A, really, really hard, and B, the realization of a dream. Um, so I'm not going to put too much, uh, too much emphasis on the fact that, yeah, I'm in, you know, I'm in, I'm in the Masters. That's, that, is, that is cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited about it, and I cannot wait to set foot on, on the grounds. That'll be amazing. Um, but... I think more of what has sunk in to me is, you know, this guarantees me that, you know, this is my 10th season on the PGA Tour. 
it guarantees me that I'm going to have 12, at least. Pretty cool. Like, like that's pretty cool. Like, for, for, for where I, you know, it's just always my dream to never get a real job, actually, believe it or not. Like, I never even, I never knew what it was going to look like. When I was a kid, I watched my dad work really hard, and it didn't look like fun. So I was like, I want to play baseball for a living or tennis or something. And then it turned into golf, and now I, now I know for sure I'm going to have a job on the best tour in the world for two and a half more years. That's pretty, that, that, that's what I think about right now. But I'm sure as I, you know, relax a little bit from here, I'll, I'll, I'll start wondering what that, what that 12th tee shot to that back right pin at Augusta is going to feel like. <laughs> so, so it is pretty cool. Unless there are any others, I'll finish up with how do the Malnati celebrate tonight. So we've already started with ice cream after Greenside, but what will it look like tonight? We got PB and J's in the car for the, for the trip to the airport. <laughs> Let's go. Are we? So I'm, 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 make Hatcher a promise right now. You're probably going to go to school tomorrow, but we won't get you up early for it. You can you can sleep until you wake up and go in a little late. Does that sound <laughs> does that sound like a good deal? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>